Hey guys, just wanted to make one more video explaining um, what one dir versus one file is and um, what it looks like when we use the one dir parameter instead. So I'm still in the show. I, I was able to just uh, use the up arrow and the command prompt to go to my last command. And all I'm going to do is change the one file to one dir and then run that. So if you've exited out of command prompt, you just need to, you know, change the directory and get back to it and set it up like this. Um, so here's the output. This is where it's going to go when I hit enter. And we'll just take a look at it. So notice right off the bat, we have a folder here instead of the one executable. So when we open this up, we have all of this crap and here's our, our program. See, for some reason now the icon worked. I don't know. <laughs> but, um... So basically what one dir does, it bundles everything needed for the script into a directory. And sometimes this is better when you want to troubleshoot and make sure everything is packaging as expected and that you have all the dependencies. So this kind of just lays everything out. Um, but with one file, it kind of puts all this information inside the executable. And my understanding of it is when you run the executable on a computer, it unpacks all of this stuff basically to... Um, wherever your computer's temp folder is set. Um, and sometime that will take a second. So if you if you ran this with one file and had a lot of imports and different modules and it was a big script, it might take it might hesitate when you open the program for a second or two, maybe two or three seconds until until it unpacks all this stuff. Um, so it would be faster if you're looking for speed just to run it like this. Um, but that's not really a concern unless you have a, a big program with lots of different modules. Let's just make sure it works. Yep, so this is kind of uglier. I don't like giving people a whole folder with crap in this, so I, I usually stick to one file. So let's just run it again with one file, just so we can see them side by side. See, so just picture all this stuff here inside of here. And when we click enter, it unpacks, it kind of hesitate for a split second there. It kind of unpacks it to somewhere. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you because that's another common thing when you're trying to debug. If you go on the internet, people will say, try to bundle it as a one dir first. Um, and if you can do that, then, then look for other issues. But um, just wanted to expose it to you guys. Alright, see you later.